Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with part number 6 in the Zodiac series. And as normal, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will leave my part 1 up here where I talk a little bit what the Zodiac series is here on my channel. So, this month's Zodiac sign is Gemini. And Gemini in Swedish is Tvillingarna. I am going to do a makeup look where this is in focus. And if you have seen my other parts, you know that the shimmer shades in this palette isn't my favorites, but this one feels a little bit creamier. I can swatch it for you. This is like a gold, gold, creamy shimmer. So it looks like this. So I know what I want to do, at least think. And I will use some other palettes in this because this is a series where I can use whatever I want as long as the Zodiac shade is in the center. So I have picked out three other palettes. I don't know if I will use all three of them. But we just get started and I will tell you which colors I am using. So I will start with a shade from the Paulina palette. And this is actually up for pre-order again. I think there is still some palettes left if you want this. But I will start with this humble and put it in my crease. And I think I will take it the whole crease. Yes, I want to do that. It feels so strange that it has almost gone half of 2019. When I started this series in January, I was like... I will never get through this palette, it felt like, and now I'm halfway through. And it's like, when did this happen? And I'm sorry if you can hear something in the background, but our neighbor across the street starting to trim their hedges, their bushes. And I'm like, why do you do it today? It's not even nice weather outside. Just be indoors and be quiet, please. So if you hear something, I'm sorry about that. But I I can't wait for him to be done with it. And I don't know the lighting. This is like the biggest struggle ever. Maybe this is better. It's so hard. Like in the viewfinder and when I editing, it's not looking the same. But I think this is maybe better. I hope. So, okay, the humble shade is done, and now I'm going into the Tri palette from Juvia's Place. And I am going to take this dark green sun, and I am taking this on my outer half of my lid. And I don't know if these two go that good together, but yeah, I have a swatch like so many greens before I started this video because I know I wanted this sun and the Gemini shade but then I was like what am I going to have in my crease so I swatched a lot of greens but these two maybe go this maybe works what do you think about this zodiac series do you think it's fun or do you just like oh not that video again. I think it's fun and also not fun. I think it's fun because I am having a series that I actually keep doing. I'm pretty good at starting series and then I just don't have the time to finish them or continue with them. But with this one, I am still doing it so I guess that's a good sign. And I am thinking about if I'm going to do a review video on the Zodiac palette when this year is over and I have used all the shades. Do you think that is a good idea? I don't know how long this palette is going to be available or if it is like one of their palettes that's going to be available forever. I don't really know. Okay, so I think that this turned out pretty good. Okay, and then we are going into the Gemini shade. And I don't know if I want to cut this. 
But I think I will do like Betty Jean. She sometimes do a faux cut crease with glitter glue. But I think I will do it for this. So I will take this NYX glitter glue and I will cut a little bit in here. It doesn't feel like this glitter glue will make such a hard edge. Like to cut it with a concealer. I'm just dragging it out a little bit. Okay, and then I will go in with the Gemini shade and see how this... Okay, this sticks pretty good. And I think I said it in the beginning and if you haven't seen my other parts of the series, I am not so impressed by this palette. And I am not impressed like at all with the shimmer shades because they are... They are not like the other shimmer shades Colourpop has, I don't know why, but this palette is like, not like the other palettes, but this shimmer shade, this was pretty good. I don't even know if I needed that glitter glue, or maybe it's good because of the glitter glue, maybe. I'm not mad at this shade at all. I will go in with some more from the Tri palette from UVS. And try to blend this shade out and now I have a lot on my hands and then I go back with the brush where I have the Gemini shade and just go over the edge again so I think that this is pretty good actually I think this may be my favorite look with this palette. I don't know if I took the Gemini a little bit high, but I think I like it. Maybe I want to go in a little bit more with the dark green, just like in here and up in this crease. I'm just going back in with the Paulina palette and Humble, just a little bit right in here. Maybe I should have taken a smaller brush, but hey, something like that. I think like gold and green is a really good combination. So yeah, I will do the other eye as well. You don't need to see that. So I will do the other eye, fix my base and my brows, and then we'll come back and we'll do something to the under eyes, put a good lipstick for this, and see where we will how it will end up. So I will be back, I will just fix everything else. So for my under eyes I will start with Humble and put it with a larger brush. Okay, I want to do the exact same thing as I have on my lid. So I will start with Humble and I will try to hold this in some way shape or form and I think I like give up I'm trying you to see what I'm doing when I'm doing my under eyes because it's so hard and then I want to go in with San the one from use place and just take I have a mirror here and the mirror there, I don't know where to look. Just to put this out here. Just to connect them to. Okay, and then I will find next brush, close that palette, close this palette, and then I will take the Gemini. Did I even point at it? The Gemini color and put it in here and I will spray it. I like never going to finish this spray. This is, I think it's pretty old right now, but I hate this on my face. So I just, sorry for me. I just use it to spray my shadows and that will take forever to empty setting spray. So this is the finished eye look. I think this is my favorite look with this Zodiac palette. I will put a pen in my wash line. I will take a teaspoon from Colourpop. 
I'm pretty sure. Put something on my lips, put on mascara, and then I will be back with a complete finished Gemini look. So I am back and I of course took a red lippy and this is Love Life from Colourpop. It's a lipstick. I love this. It's one of my absolute favorite reds. This is my Gemini look and I must say I am so pleased with this look. This is by far my absolute favorite look with the Zodiac palette. I love this look and I really hope you like it as well. And I don't know about the lighting. I changed the settings on the camera beginning of this video so I will see if this is better or not so I really hope you like this video and I please let me know if you want me to do like a review or something on this I haven't used all the shades yet but I have used half the palette don't forget to subscribe if you are not so you don't miss any of my videos and if you are a Gemini please let me know I am not Gemini if you have seen the other parts of this you know that I'm not I am a Pisces, hated word. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!